Hey folks, today I'm going to teach you how to copy and paste adjustments in the Photos app. This technique is especially helpful when you're dealing with a bunch of photos that were all taken at the same time and in the same location. So you can make all of your corrections to one photo and then deploy those changes to the rest of them. That's coming up next on Tech Talk America. Hey folks, and welcome to the class. You know, a lot of people are taking the time right now to organize and edit their old photos. So I thought this would be a timely topic. As some of you may know, I recently relocated to Palm Springs, California, technically still in the process, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you a little bit of the area. So I recently took a day trip to Joshua Tree National Park and got some pretty amazing photos using only my iPhone 12. These are the original images that I took, and for this example, I thought it would be really fun to remove the sky so that the only color that you can see is everything on the ground. We're going to start by using one photo to apply all of our base corrections. Now, if you're following along at home, I would like to strongly encourage you to use the first photo in whatever set of photos that you're working on. You'll see why in just a moment. So let's select this first photo and then double click on it and then click edit at the top right. Now to remove the sky, I'm going to click on this little arrow next to selective color and then I'm going to click on the color select tool, which you'll see right here. Now I'll just go to my image and click on the sky. From here, all I need to do is drag the saturation to zero. And there you go, no more sky. At this point, I'm gonna teach you two shortcut keys to remember. Many of you are probably familiar with copy and paste, which are normally command C for copy and command V for paste. Well, when you add the shift key to that combination, suddenly it becomes copy adjustments. Now you can also access those commands through the image menu at the very top. Now there is a very commonly made mistake which I would like to make you aware of. One of the things that's very strange about the Photos program is that you can only access this feature when you are in editing mode. So for example, if I click done, which means I'm no longer editing my image, you'll notice that if we go back to that image menu, that option is grayed out. So just make sure when you do this that you're still in edit mode when you go to copy the adjustments. You remember how earlier I recommended that you use the first photo in the series? Well, this is the reason why. From this screen, all you need to do is tap the right arrow key on your keyboard and it will advance to the next image. So now just press Command Shift V and just like that, we have pasted the adjustments from the previous photo onto this photo. And if you simply repeat those last two steps over and over again, in no time flat, you'll have that effect applied to all of your photos. Before we go, there are three quick things that you should know. First, there are certain types of corrections that will not copy and paste. So for example, if you crop an image or if you were to add text from something like a third party app, those are examples of attributes where this feature is not going to work. The second is that you should know this does work with any of the built in filters. So for example, let's say you're a big fan of the film noir look. You can simply add that to your first photo, hit command shift C, advance to the next photo, paste it, and you're good to go. And finally, I would like to remind you that the Photos app always holds on to the original image. So let's say years down the road, you wanna see how that photo originally looked. Just click up here at the very top and click where it says revert to original. You know, I went downtown and I bought this shirt today and I didn't really realize that it was gonna read on camera as Best Buy Blue. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up like button, leave me a little comment down below, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, we're right on the verge of hitting 700,000 subscribers. I love getting to do my job, and thank you to all of you who have subscribed over the years. Thank you for watching everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.